I was going through some Android news articles last week and came across this new feature that's being added to the Google application via the lens feature. Now the idea here is to let people use words to help narrow search results when they are using Google Lens to search for something via an image or a photograph. You can see how it works here as somebody takes a photo of a product but then adds the descriptor green so that they can try to find a green version of that item. This is a really handy feature, but it's currently only available as a beta feature. And I realize there are going to be many people that want to try this feature out, but they aren't going to be able to because opting into the beta for an Android application isn't something that everyone is doing. So I wanted to remind people that the Google Play beta program exists and that I wanted to recommend that people try out the beta version of some of their favorite applications if they want access to some of the newest features Android has to offer. This beta program functionality is available to all Android app developers, so your favorite third-party application could have its own beta program too. Now, if you want to find out if an application offers a beta version, then you're going to want to go to the app page in the Google Play Store. So if we open up the Google Play Store and we search for an application that we are curious about, for instance, Gboard, then we can see right toward the top, we are able to join the beta for this application. So if I wanted to join the beta for the Google Keyboard app, you're just going to look for this Join the Beta section, tap the Join button, and then tap Join to confirm. Now what happens is Google is taking this request, it's adding this application to the list of applications you want to download the beta version for, you can see after you have gone through the actions of joining the beta for an application, you're going to see this section change from asking if you want to join the beta to telling you that you are in the process of joining the beta. And we got a note right here saying that beta signup is in progress, but it can take a few minutes for this to complete. Sometimes this only takes a couple of minutes but sometimes this can take an hour or longer. But eventually you will be able to go to your application update page and see that you now have a new update waiting for the application that you just applied for the beta. And whenever you update that app, it's going to update you to the beta version of that application. Google does enjoy rolling out its latest features to the beta channel for many of its applications, whether it is the Gboard application, Google Search, or even the Google Messages app. There are a lot of beta versions of Google's first party apps. And again, there are a lot of beta versions of many popular apps out there too, like Telegram, Amazon Music, Audible, and many more. So if you're wanting to try out the latest features on many of the popular apps you use every day, go through the Google Play Store, find out all the applications you have installed, and then opt in to the beta version of those applications if you want to try out the latest version with the newest features.